flows who trained yesterday babies to be contributors of today have you asked the question who took all that trouble to train yesterday babies to be today's contributors to this madness we did who else and who is doing the same for today's babies we are who else we inherited from our parents and the society and we are passing on the same legacy to the present generation as our rich so called madly rich inheritance this is the cause of the chaos that we see at every step the conflict the lack of understanding of truth lack of understanding of the sexual energy this is the cause paul harris a professor of education at harvard did groundbreaking research on precisely this topic he has identified the brilliant heuristics that children used to try and figure out whom to believe and what is real and what is nonsense this has been the v paul harris is interested in early development of cognition emotion and imagination his most recent book trusting what you are told how children learn from others was published by harvard university press in may 2012 the book discusses how far children rely on their own first hand observation or alternatively trust what other people tell them spec specifically when they confront a domain of knowledge in which first hand observation is difficult for example many aspects of history science and religion concern events that children cannot easily observe for themselves how far do children believe what they are told about these domains when and how do they become aware of the confronting claims made by the science as compared with religion and interesting what you are told how children learn from others he describes how quite young children are quickly can quickly assess that germs or oxygen which they cannot see have a different level of reality from fairies angels ghosts and gods which they also cannot see even at 6 years old even at 6 years old they notice that they never hear anyone say that i am a true believer of germs aha uh -huh. all clear clever sadly enough by adolescence as paul harris explains in the final third of the book the institutions of these smart kids the intuitions of these smart kids are drowned out in favor of whatever their particular society insists is true 
Hence, a significant majority of Americans still believe in angels, ghosts, and gods. This is true in almost all the cultures on this earth. Not because these creatures exist, but because we have instilled those beliefs in their young heads. Our children more Mary Curie or Margaret Mead when it comes to learning. Are they little scientists who learn best by experimenting and figuring things out for themselves? Or little anthropologists who need to listen, observe and rely on what others Tell them. Progressive educators who emphasize learning by doing would likely say Marie Curie, philosopher Jean Rousseau. For example, in writing about education and children in Emily said, let him know things not because you have told him but rather because he has understood it for himself. Let him not learn science, let him invent it. Italian educator Maria Montessori, whose child-centered learning theories are used around the world, once said that when it comes to educating children, the teacher or the directors, as she was called, should give a hint, a touch, just enough to get the child started. The rest develops of itself. This has been my whole emphasis when it comes to spiritual development. I give you example, hints, Try to open your horizon of thinking so you can think in the right domain. Or does it? After years of research, Professor Paul Harris argues that children need more than just a hint or a touch in order to learn about many things. As he writes in his new book, Trusting what we are told, how children learn from others. There is a profound limit to the role that first-hand experience can play in cognitive development. For example, how would a child know about a city or a country never seen or visited if someone has not told him or her about it? or have an understanding of the past that dinosaurs once roamed on the earth, or the fact that Harry Potter isn't real. How does he or she grasp that germs exist, or the tooth fairy, or Santa Claus for that matter. Children learn all sort of things that are opaque to them. By becoming little Margaret Meads, Harris says that by listening to what others tell them, what he calls testimony, a dominant metaphor for children, for young children's cognitive development is that the child is a scientist who does hand-on experiments such as with things that float versus sink and revives his or her ideas about the world like a scientist. This is how Paul Harris continues in his 
a study on the children, their cognitive behavior. He was a British psychologist and academician who specialized in child development. He studied at Oxford, worked there. Thereafter, in the final, he moved to Harvard University in Cambridge in Boston. So enough for now. More on Paul Harris and his understanding will continue. Enough for now.